We're going to make this pillow rented seat fast for absolute beginners. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's render a pillow. Select your default queue, press tab, go into edit mode, press S to scale Z on the Z axis and type in 0.05. Press numpad 7 for top orthographic view and then press control R and scroll up. The bottom left hand corner you can see how many cuts you're scrolling up to. I'm scrolling up to 50, left click and right click and do the same on the other side. So we've got nice clean squares and 42 50 left click right click there you go and don't do more than one cut here for this example and there we have it press tab go into object mode and we're going to add some physics we're going to click on cloth we're going to use a preset called silk and all we need to do here is go to our collisions and increase the quality to maybe five and turn on self collision and then scroll down go to field weight and make sure gravity is set to zero and just like that, all we need to do now is press Shift A, Force Field, Force. Let's up this to 500 or 150 or whatever you like. And just like that, you can press Space Bar and you will have a pillow that grows. I'm going to double click on this pillow to rename it, this cube, and rename it Pillow. And I'm going to press Enter. And if you wait a little while, your pillow will grow. And I'll see you right there. All right, if you're happy with your pillow shape, press Space Bar to stop in Force Field. I'm quite happy with this. Right click shade, ooh, hold on, make sure you select the pillow, right click shade smooth, and there you have it, we have a beautiful pillow. Then we're going to go to our render settings, we're going to turn on ambient occlusion, blue, screen space reflection, volumetrics, we're going to improve the quality to two, and turn on volumetric shadows, and then we're going to go to performance and turn on high quality bits, and straight after that we're going to press shift A, mesh, plane, numpad one, we're going to scale this out dramatically, and then press G, Z, and just bring this below the pillow. So, yeah, ah, that's appropriate. And then we can go to our material settings and give this plane a material. Um, I'm going to make sure it's glossy and perhaps leave it on white and just leave it as is for now. Change to render view mode. Let's change our world quickly to white as well. And then click on our light source. Click on our object data properties for light, click on sun, change the strength to 10, and perhaps change the color to a slightly warmer color. And then click on your camera view to see what your camera sees. Select your cushion, and go to material, and change this to glossy. And perhaps choose the color that you like. In this case, I'm just gonna use this yellow, and then you can just change, adjust the roughness to, to have a certain level of shininess that you might like. Anyways, that's it. We look closely, it's a little bit pixelated, and the way we fix that is go to mo uh, modify properties, add modifier, and we just add a subdivision surface. And you can just up this, and it looks pretty smooth. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.